Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about isoelectronic species. So we're going to be going over what they are. We're going to do some examples. Then I'm going to give you a problem to check your progress on this topic. If you're new here, my name is Leah and on my channel you can find more science tutorials. Now what do we mean when we say that two things are isoelectronic? You know, when we're talking about elements and we're saying, oh, those atoms or elements, those are isoelectronic. Well, it turns out that iso indicates something that's the same, and electronic is pointing to something to do with electrons. All right, and so isoelectronic species are going to have the same number of electrons and the same electron configuration. All right, and so I've put E minus to abbreviate electrons. Okay, so isoelectronic species are going to have the same number of electrons, and therefore it makes sense that they would have the same electron configurations as well. Knowing what isoelectronic species are, let's do an example and find species that are isoelectronic to neon. We are going to be looking at other elements and we are going to be making ions so that they can have 10 electrons like neon does. Okay, so looking on the periodic table, we can see that something that would be isoelectronic to neon would be fluorine minus one. Okay, so originally, you know, the neutral fluorine would have nine electrons, but if we add an electron, making it a negative one charge, we would also get it to have 10 electrons. Okay, so looking further back, we see oxygen. Oxygen already has eight electrons. And if we add two more, you know, AKA, if we make this a negative two charge, indicating we added two more electrons, now oxygen two minus would have 10 electrons as well. So we can keep going further and we can put, uh, let's see, nitrogen, Okay, and so nitrogen already has seven electrons, and so we would add three electrons so that it has 10. If we wanted to do this one, we could say carbon with a negative four charge, but this would also be isoelectronic to neon. Now let's look at sodium. So a neutral sodium atom has 11 electrons, and so we would have to subtract one electron in order to have 10 electrons. And so if we subtract one electron, you know, if we take one negative charge away from sodium, we would get a plus charge left over, okay, because we took away one negative. And, you know, on that note, we can also make some more cations, ions with a positive charge. So those can include magnesium as well. Now, magnesium has 12 electrons, and so we would have to take away two electrons, meaning we would be left over with the magnesium ion with a two plus charge. So we can say that these ions have the same electron configuration and the same number of electrons as the neon atom. Let us do another example. Here we want to find species that are isoelectronic to chlorine minus one. Okay, so the Cl minus one atom, okay, this is going to have a total of 18 electrons. Okay, so let's go look for some other atoms or elements um, that also have 18 electrons. One that stands out, it's neutral, is the element right after it, and that would be argon. Okay, argon, the noble gas, has 18 electrons. In addition, we have sulfur. Now, sulfur has 16 electrons, and therefore we would need to add two more to make 18. Okay, so in the end, by adding two negatives to it, we would get sulfur with a negative two charge. Um, if we look for other examples, we see that phosphorus, this has 15 electrons originally, but if we add three, you know, if we make this a negative three charge, then, you know, phosphorus negative three would also have 18 electrons. For silicon here, you know, this already has 14 electrons, but if we add four more, you know, this would become a negative four charge. Um, we would also have 18 electrons here. Now let's look for some cations, things with positive charges. All right, so if we take a look at potassium, Right, this has 19 electrons, so we would have to take one electron away to make it 18 electrons. And if we take away one negative charge, we get potassium plus one. Now, what other cation can we make that has 18 electrons? Well, if you look at calcium, calcium has 20 electrons, and so you would have to take away two electrons, okay? And that would leave you with a plus two charge on calcium. So here again, we have some isoelectronic species to chlorine minus one. All right, so now it's time to check your progress and feel free to write your answer in the comments. 
to find the isoelectronic species of Krypton. In this video, I did not go over electron configuration, but if you would like to see that, check my channel for that separate video. If you're interested, I offer online tutoring and you can make a scheduled appointment with me by going to the link in the description box below. You can also find the link to my website and other resources as you study in this chemistry course. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Thank you.